seems nagging me to bring an umbrella on cloudy days, but my teacher says drainage projects are like umbrellas. People just ignore them on sunny days and only find them important when it rains. During the rainy season, heavy downpours severely flood the low-lying areas of northern Hong Kong Island. To relieve flooding, the Hong Kong West Drainage Tunnel is a major project of the Drainage Services Department. Let's support them and well prepare ourselves for flood prevention. I think raining's a good thing. Kind of cool you up in the hot weather and sometimes even no school. But Mom said that some people might not be that lucky on rainy days. Heavy rain could trouble them very much. It's true. In Hong Kong, heavy downpours very often occur during the rainy season every year, and we've been threatened with flooding for a long time. The coastal low-lying areas in northern Hong Kong Island, which mostly back onto high mountains, are particularly vulnerable to flooding. Indeed, most of the existing drainage pipes or culverts were built several decades ago. And, because of the blooming of urban development over the years, the existing drainage system can no longer meet the current flood protection need. As a result, serious flooding could plague these coastal, low-lying areas during heavy downpours, particularly when it is coupled with high tide. This is Oh, it's raining again. How come it rains every time we want to go out? Does Hong Kong have lots of rain? Yes, we do. Hong Kong is located in a subtropical zone with an average annual rainfall of about 2,200 millimeters, which makes Hong Kong one of the major Pacific Rim cities with the highest rainfall. That's why everyone in the drainage services department, from the front-line drain cleaning gangs to the professional engineers, have all worked diligently throughout the years with a view to continually improving the drainage system of Hong Kong and hence reducing the risk of flooding. We really want to try for the excellence. We want to build sort of world-class infrastructures for our drainage wastewater services. We hope that uh, before the commissioning of the Shenwan pumping station, we can achieve the target of reducing the flooding risk in Shenwan. I I fully understand that flooding will cause inconvenience to the public, but I believe after the projects have completed, the risk of flooding will be reduced and their living environment can be much improved. I didn't know so many people have worked so hard to deal with the rain. Oh, I guess being stuck at home when it rains is not a big deal after all. Hong Kong Island has a mountainous landscape. When it rains, a huge amount of stormwater from the mountains rapidly runs down to the low-lying areas. Therefore, relieving the flooding problem of northern Hong Kong Island is one of the urgent tasks of the Drainage Services Department. In fact, the Drainage Services Department has initiated studies on innovative methods for raising the level of flood prevention of northern Hong Kong Island. One of the major flood prevention projects is the Hong Kong West Drainage Tunnel with an estimated cost of 3 billion Hong Kong dollars. The construction started in November 2007 and will take approximately five years to complete. The idea is to use tunnel boring machines to construct a main drainage tunnel that starts at Mid Hill and extends from Tai Hang to Cyberport. The main tunnel will be about 11 kilometers in length 
and 7 meters in diameter and roughly two stories high. The project will also include the construction of 34 intakes scattered in mid-levels and connecting edits with a total length of about 8 kilometers. Upon completion of the project, storm water from the mountains will be intercepted by the intakes, then flow along the drop shaft and adits into the main tunnel. Finally, the storm water will be discharged into the sea near Cyberport. This method of storm water interception at midstream will significantly reduce the amount of storm water flowing into the downstream low-lying areas, thereby substantially lowering the risk of flooding. More importantly, this would save the need of carrying out large-scale drainage works in the urban areas downstream, and therefore much reduce the extent of road excavation works. Disruption of traffic in the urban areas downstream is thus minimized. The Drainage Services Department carried out another two projects at the low-lying areas in Xiongwan in 2006, namely the Xiongwan Stormwater Pumping Station and the intercepting stormwater drains along Queens Road Central. Upon completion of the Xiongwan projects, part of the stormwater in Xiongwan is to be conveyed via the intercept drains to the outlets in other districts for discharge. In addition, penstock will be installed at the existing outfall in Xiongwan to prevent the upward backflow of seawater. The stormwater in the low-lying areas near Winglock Street is to be collected in an underground flood storage tank beneath the Xiongwan stormwater pumping station and then pumped out to sea. Wow! How big is the storage tank to hold all the rainwater? This underground flood storage tank can hold up to 9,000 cubic meters of water, which is approximately the size of four standard swimming pools. When the tank is full, the pumps have capacity to empty the entire tank in seven minutes. The pumping station could withstand a rainstorm of one in 50 year return period, and therefore could significantly mitigate the flood risk in the Xiongwan area. In addition, the drainage services department has been upgrading the existing stormwater drains in Saiwan, Central, Happy Valley, Causeway Bay, etc., so as to improve the capacity of local drainage systems. We understand that construction works may cause some inconveniences to the public. Ever since the Drainage Services Department started planning the various flood prevention projects, different aspects of the works such as site selection, construction methods, and cost effectiveness have been considered with a view to minimizing disturbances to traffic, the environment, and the public at large. When these projects are completed, the risk of flooding in areas like Xiongwan, Central, Admiralty, and Wan Chai will be greatly reduced. The flood prevention capability for the whole of northern Hong Kong Island will be effectively enhanced. The undesirable flood effects such as inconvenience, annoyance, economic losses, and traffic disruptions will also be minimized. Undoubtedly, Hong Kong will benefit in the long run. 九年下面整個那些大的那些 said new territories used to be flooded during heavy downpour and it is very much better now. 排洪工程完成了之後 it's good to know the achievements of flood prevention in the new territories, even if it rains heavily in the future. My friends living in northern Hong Kong Island don't have to worry. To address the risk of flooding in the urban areas in the northern parts of Hong Kong Island from the Kennedy Town to Causeway Bay, the Drainage Services Department has embarked on a $3 billion project, the Hong Kong West Drainage Tunnel. Upon its completion, the risk of flooding in these areas will be significantly lowered. During its construction, I and the professional team of the department will make our best effort 
to mitigate impacts to the public. With your support, understanding and tolerance and confidence that we will be able to complete our work smoothly and in a timely manner.